I'm so excited to travel back from my extensive trip to Europe. This is my first time visiting Europe and um, it was a long trip. I have to say that uh, it was it was um it was kind of just okay. Am I allowed to say that? That like Europe was just okay. Yeah, I mean I don't wanna like I don't wanna sound like I'm you know, ungrateful for Europe because I think like Europe should be there. Like I'm really glad that it's around. But like I was like not that impressed. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower, like I don't know, like I I get the whole industrial uh, decor vibe, like I get it, I know it's a big important thing but I want and it was just kind of ugly looking, just like a bunch of bars like stacked on top of each other. Big Ben was just like a big clock, you know, like really big clock but it, like, you know, it's big and it's just, I don't know what else to say, it's a huge clock. Um, I couldn't really find like good food, like they didn't have Doritos or Lifesavers, just you know, like the regular staples that I like or just that like most people like, like okay and I went to, to Italy and like I have to say their pizza, I don't understand it. It's supposed to be like this big pizza capital of the world, right? Right? Because it's Italy. Like they don't even have Papa John's. It's crazy. I thought like, okay, I'm gonna find a good Papa John's and get like a loaded like Supreme Deluxe, extra sausage and cheese. No, they don't even know what that is. And so like, and like I get they have this thing where like their foods are like fresh, you know, grown freshly like in the gardens or whatever. Or their like crops are better, but like everything was kind of bland. Like they just have like crumpets. Like I was just like, okay. I guess I'll dip these crumpets in my natty light. Like I don't, I don't know what to do. Like it was just hard to find, you know, like the good stuff, which is fine. I did see some of the castles, and the castles were pretty cool. Like it's they were super old, you know. Like needed some cleaning, for sure. I will say, if you are a castle in Europe. You are loaded with drama. You have a lot of baggage. Those castles did not have it easy. They were always at war with each other. Like if you lived in a castle back then, you were probably always just like standing by the window, just hurling arrows out the window. Like the whole castle life, like I'm not feeling it. Definitely not. I'm glad I'm back. I learned a lot about the history of Europe and I just, uh, I feel like there's a lot. There's like too much history, you know what I mean? Europe's like, Europe has too much baggage. Like they've just been around for too long. Like that's, they have a lot to work through. Europe definitely, like, like every time I visited a castle, I felt like I was being trauma dumped on by the tour guide. Like he was just dumping trauma on me. This war happened, that war happened, this, that, oh my gosh. Like, come on Europe. Like Europe needs to go to therapy for sure. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely tell. So looks like I'm gonna have to pat myself down at this airport today because there actually were some TSA agents but they did not do a good job. They just let me through the gate and now I'm in this like, you know, weird kind of looking airport with a massage table and a lamp and like a microphone stand and like what, a refrigerator? Yeah. Um, and no one patted me down, which is the weirdest part of all. So without further ado, I'm going to get started and I'm going to make sure that I am safe for me and for the airport and for the world at large because now I'm an international traveler. So once you, once you go across your, the ocean, you have to start taking yourself seriously and you have to give yourself a super pat down. So actually this is going to be a super pat down, a super self pat down. with myself at all times just in case I need them. So I'm really glad that I put them on. Okay. Okay, and they're clean. And now I'm going to go through my hair. I did shower this morning, but 
who knows. So I'm just going to start by going through my hair. I have to check it. I have to check it for lights and things. Okay. So. Um, sometimes hair checks really stress me out. So I just have to relax and take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. It'll all be over soon, Katie. It's okay. You don't have to worry. Stop worrying. Okay, the snow. Is that a bug? Is that a louse? Did I find a louse? Oh no, that's just a piece of feta cheese. stressful at the airport. Okay. I don't know what to do sometimes. I just don't know. I'm just gonna be combing my hair. Combing my hair carefully. Okay. Just brushing. Just brushing the area. Brushing Giving myself a brush down. The best brush down I've ever received. It's definitely. Okay. I'm just gonna be peeling apart this whole area here. Okay. Just doing my best. Doing my brush down best. Okay, just relax. samples to the lab for testing. Make some of these samples. So it's another piece of feta cheese. Oh my god. I was a messy eater this morning. I really got into that cheese block. Yum. Really got into it. I was a little hungover, so I just, you know, I went to a cafe and uh, I ordered just a big block of cheese and the waiter looked at me kind of weird, you know, like, ma'am, like, are you sure? I'm like, just bring me the whole block. Bring me a whole block of cheese and leave me alone. Bring me a block of cheese and a glass of Chablis because the hair of the dog will cure me. And now look at me. Cheese all, cheese all over. Cheese all over. So, but you know, yeah, everyone in Europe seems seems really carefree, just kind of gallivanting around. A lot of bicycles. Everyone was on a bicycle. You know, I had never ridden a bike before, so I did get a bike, um, but I had to have training wheels. I did get some looks, a lot of looks. I felt a little super judged. Um, but you know, that's not my problem. My mom always told me to just be myself and express myself, and that's what I did. I wanted to ride a bike like the Europeans, but I didn't want to crash. So, so yeah, I got a bike with training wheels and just like a, a basket um, in front for the natty lights that I had smuggled from America, because I just had a hankering for natty lights, you know. So I made sure to pack some. So I was just like drinking my natty lights and like well, and driving around in my tricycle and just kind of kind of judging people, you know, judging the Eiffel Tower and they were judging me and it was kind of like a ten tension, a lot of tension there. It was a bit of an awkward mess, I would say, but you know, I, I think I managed to have some fun. Absolutely. Yeah. So next I'm just gonna use a different brush and just brush my hair really nicely. Okay. You know, I'm proud of 
proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for riding a bicycle in Europe, you know? And if I had given it one more week, maybe I could have taken one of the training wheels off, you know, or both of them. Okay. So. Whatever, you know. It is what it is for sure. For sure. It is what it is. That's the way the cookie goes. here. I'm not going to send this sample to the lab because I don't want to waste the lab containers. I'm very conscientious about my environment. One more brush. And this is just for my sideburns. Just the sideburns. Just get in there. Gotta get in there. Gotta get those sideburns. Ah, okay. but I will. I think I will. I think I will actually send this sample to the lab for testing because sometimes those little raisin bugs can hide in your sideburns right above your ears. Okay, so I don't want those raisin bugs in my sideburns. Not before I get in a plane. Not before I cross the Atlantic Ocean. You can't have raisin bugs on the Atlantic Ocean. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So... I'm do my duty. I think that went really well. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna check my hair. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna palpate my head and hair and I'm gonna check my glasses as well. Okay, I'm just gonna give my glasses a little pat down. There's nothing hidden in here. Okay, very good. Very good. It's, it's really important to do this. It takes a little while. It takes a long time. But it's okay. It's okay to be thorough. It's okay to be thorough. Yeah. Very good. So far, I give myself five stars. I think I'm doing a rocking job. I think I rock it. Like, I should just, you know, like, pass the whole world down. I should just go to different countries and just show them how I pat myself down. I sound kind of nasty. I'm sorry. Mm, okay, so my glasses came out perfectly great. So I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to give myself a facial palpation. some oil here. I can oily skin. Oily skin, it's a good sign. It's a sign that my skin is moist. I have moist skin. Okay. I'm just gonna pat down my lips. Okay, let's a lot of lip gloss. Okay. Get my nose a little pat down. Pat those those little blackheads in my nose. I'm just gonna hammer them in. Make sure, make sure they're sticking in there for the ride. All my little blackheads, take your seat. Take your seat, little blackheads. Secure yourself in the caboose. Okay, we're getting on a plane. You can't be jumping out of the pores. You can't be jumping out of your pores. Get in place. Good blackheads. Okay, talk to my blackheads. Okay, so. No, I'm just, just feeling, just feeling feelings. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pat down my neck. Okay. Okay, so my neck feels straight. My neck is securely on top of my chest. 
and my chest is on top of my body it's like everything's connected which is good to know for the flight that like all your body parts are like linked up they're synced they're ready to go they can't wait to board the plane safely all of my little body parts and big body parts <laughs> and my big body parts <laughs> my body parts of all sizes my body parts of every size are happy to jump on the plane. Okay. 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 So. Okay, so I'm just gonna. divot. The little divot. The little divot in my clavicle needs to be scooped out. Me. Okay, I need to scoop out for any debris. Oh, a little piece of cheese. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay, okay, got it. The divot's all. Okay, the divot's a little, the divot's a little red. The div my little divot's a little irritated because I just scooped its little snack out. But, uh, <laughs> It's, it's red, it's a little angry, it's a little crabby, so that's okay. It's okay, little divot. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, little, little chest divot. You got this. <laughs> you got this, little chest divot. You got this. You're so great. You're a rock star. Don't listen to it. <laughs> Don't listen to what anyone says, little chest divot. You got this. You're, you're amazing. You're amazing. Little Scooby area. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, it's very good. So far, so good. I'm just got some oily skin today. Sweating out all that natty light. Ooh. Should have just drank the local beverages, right? Right? wrong with me? Why do I have such peculiar tastes? I just have, I'm just a very particular woman. That's all. Very particular. Okay, only the best for me. Okay. Okay, very good. So, just cut everything down.
so far I'm very clear. So far I don't have any weapons, so I'm really happy about that. Band yet, but we're, we're, we still got a lot to go. Put it down to cover. Absolutely. slowly up the groin. I'm going to approach the groin with trepidation and respect. Approach the groin suddenly without warning. That was that was a little much. I'm gonna quickly go to the groin. Okay. 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 So so far so good. I'm gonna have to ask myself to remove my shoes.
I'm gonna put this up here on the shelf and send it to the lab for testing, okay? Okay, so... Some cleaned holes. Thank you. 
So I think it went really well. I patted everything down. Um, I didn't have a lot to check in my backpack, but I'm really excited to get back to America. And you know, maybe when I get off the plane there, there'll be people there to at least you know give me a once over. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pat myself one last time on the back. I think I did great. All right. Bye. Bye.